Hey everybody, I'm Jonathan Girello. Last night Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company announced their brand new games, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for the Nintendo Switch. My excitement for this announcement kept growing as there were more and more rumors about these projects in the previous weeks, so I thought I'd share my reaction. All I have to say is that it's brilliant. Game Freak have more than likely needed more time for the core RPG Pokemon game that they announced were in development for the Switch at E3 last year, and decided to make a stopgap game that could appeal to a very broad range of consumers. They announced that their next core RPG Pokemon game that was announced last year will release in 2019. As far as a stopgap game, it seems like they hit the nail on the head. Nintendo clearly still wanted a Pokemon game to come out for the Switch this year, so Game Freak and the, Pokemon, and the Pokemon Company decided to appeal to as many people as possible to try to ease Pokemon Go players into the mainline RPG series. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee will have Pokemon Go integration. In addition to this integration, a change in major gameplay mechanics such as the way wild Pokemon encounters work, with Pokemon being seen in the overworld and random encounters no longer existing, are being put into place as well as the change in the capture mechanic to change it to the capture mechanic that was introduced in Pokemon Go. Although it's disappointing that there won't be online play in this Pokemon game, the new co-op gameplay mode seems like a very good introduction to be targeting older millennials with children. These are people that grew up on the original 151 Pokemon who now have kids and maybe they can play with their children. It, it just seems like it's something in order to target a new generation and introduce this new generation to the Pokemon franchise. Um, these games seem to be based on the 1998 Pokemon Yellow, as only the original 151 Pokemon will be available with the inclusion of some of the Alolan, Alolan forms that were introduced in Generation 7. Additionally, Pokemon Following You is back, which is an ultimate fan service as fans have wanted this since Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It's been so many games have passed since then where it just made no sense that they weren't in the game. And depending on the version, either your starter Pokemon is either going to be Eevee or Pikachu. Overall, these games look great graphically and seem to be the perfect stepping stone for both players and the development team for their journey onto what Pokemon could be on the Nintendo Switch. I look forward to more information at E3 in a few weeks time, in addition to the game's release on November 16th, 2018. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about these games in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.